Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. It's Sebu Gwawo Dance on Arena. Today I'm going to break down how I designed this flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are a new viewer, to hit the bell button and also to like. This is it. So we have started with this page and it is 30 by 30 centimeters and resolution is 300. Color mode we have used rgb since it is for mostly for social media this is our photo uh, i have removed the background and now here we are so we are going to move to the shape tool and then come to this let's go to the background color panel and then we sample this orange color okay then we go to the shapes okay and then go to fill and sample this first color so our shape will contain that color we have sampled let's make it a little bit bigger and let's send it to back of our photo let's name our photo to photo okay that one you can leave it as it is try to make it a little bit bigger okay so let's select our shape tool and draw some color which will act as our background for now we will give it for now we'll give it any color but afterwards we'll come in and change the colors then i'll move into typing the text let me fast forward i type the text then i will come and we change the fonts plus colors so listen to the music as i'm typing Uh, so, so far we have these texts. It is all one font. They are all most same size. So, let's choose good fonts and also do some topography, put in some contrast in the text so that we may give our art some direction to the viewer. First, I will press Ctrl R on the keyboard to bring the ruler tool, or you can come to view and then select ruler so i'll drag it here like here so i need to align all my text on this line i've put on this okay so now i will i will uh, start changing the fonts uh okay this one let me give it 41 this one let me give it like 41 or you can just scale it and see uh, which one uh, looks good for you but me i've decided to go with 41 okay font i have used jana lt i'll put it, the link in the description for this font this one i'll use pattern bold for the for the word fashion and then font size i'll almost double it to around 60 from new year because fashion I need fashion to read more more than the word new year so for sales i'll give it uh, the same font as the up one and also same font size so i want them to read at the same time so i'll give it 41 as well and i will push it a little bit down but i need it to be italic but this font has no italic in it it just has bold so i'll come here uh, to bring this character panel you come to windows and then go to character so to bring to make this italic i'll come and i select this icon for italic so now you see it's now italic i'll push this one down and let me give it still jana okay like that and i will go to this shop so so far this is now we have and i see it is now coming 
please help me and hit the like button if you don't mind but hope uh, you are happy with so far with the design we have created uh, so far so I'll give this like 21 yep and I also remove the boldness then I'll come to this discount I'll uh, copy cut and then paste back this uh, 50 then uh, I'll try to make it big I'll give it like 60 mm. Yeah, 60. That one is okay. Then I will give it the same font. I decided to use only because maximum linear I always use uh, two to three fonts in an artwork. When I use less font, it is very easy for me to control them, not the fonts to control me. Someone can make work whereby it is flooding with fonts, different fonts. At least you should always change a font with any intention. Not you should be the one driving your artwork, not your artwork uh, driving you. So Jana still. Then I'll come to this one. Give them pattern. MB bold. Okay. So I'll move them like here. This is it. I'll come to this and I also give it the same font. I've decided to use two font, Jana and Spartan MB. So this one I'll give it Spartan, Spartan semi bold, and I also reduce the font size to around eight. The same color as this then let me also change the background color i'll come and unlock our layer since we locked it then i'll come into the gradient since i've already made this gradient it will come it can be uh, the computer can remember but to give you this is the color code to this blue but you can use any color and this is also the color code to this color but i'll put them in the description so that you can follow along i'll put this gradient in the description so the remaining text i'll try to give them white white color which is a PNG file so I'll bring it to here then I push this one a little bit from from it then I give it uh, the same color orange the same orange we have used like that okay I will also come to this okay I I give it also the same orange we have been using then I send it to back of that text and I will round these two edges of this side so uh, you can come to windows and bring the properties panel windows then you look for properties panel then I will remove the link or the constraint and then I curve only these edges So only one side is curving. Okay. I'll also come to this shop now. I give it the same color as the orange since I need most of the people to read it. Okay. Then I will send it to back until I see my word shop now. Okay. So I leave it there so far. Hope you feeling good according to the step we have reached so far. And congratulations to all of you who have managed to reach.
reach this stage. Congratulations. So still let's select our photo. Scale it more, more. According until it is covering the all artwork. Then we'll send it to back just on top of our background. Then we'll reduce its opacity to around to around 10. Okay, like there, and go into the blending mode and we give it multiply. Okay, we can try to the opacity a little bit more. Yeah, to around 35 then now it, it is time to uh, to get some elements uh, so that our background is not boring so we can bring in this element uh, these are called aftons yeah i always use them uh, in my artwork You can download them from different websites. You can download them from Google to Vector websites, or you can make them on your own. All right. So let's give them a white color so that we don't introduce now a new color. Oh, I will go to color overlay and then give it a white color. All right. And let's reduce its opacity to around 10 to around 10 and let's also reduce a little bit of its fill let's push it to 8 uh, we have been able to uh, design down this fryer uh, with you hope you have gained a, uh, something from this tutorial uh, please if you are a new viewer subscribe to my channel share like and comment the arena at beyond